Hi, this is Abel Stewart again. This is lesson number five, and right now we're going to learn the C chord. So you've already learned the G and the D. With a C, if you put those three chords together, you can do a lot of songs, and we'll do several of those. You get a chance to see some examples. So the C chord, let's take a look at this. Uh, you remember we talked about using your ring finger kind of as your anchor between your G and your G right here, so you notice it's down here, and your D right here. You can do the same thing with a, with a C chord too, which makes it really convenient because all three chords have the ring finger on this same fret, the third fret. A lot of guitars will have that first dot on the third fret. If you do, that can be a helpful reference point. So again, um, with the ring finger, you're going to put that not on the string closest to you, but one string in, right there. All right. With your middle finger, you're going to go one string away from you and one fret back, right there. All right. Your index finger is not going to go the string farthest from you, but one string in and that first fret. So you notice on your, on your C chord, you have third fret, second fret, third, first fret with those three fingers, your ring, middle, index. So ring on the third, middle on the second, index on the first. Again, this is a C chord, so you're going to strum it. Now, if you, if you let this bottom string ring, it's not a huge deal. It's going to sound a little cleaner if you, if you can mute it or muffle it. So if, you, if you're able to wrap your hand around there and muffle it, that's great. Uh, if not, and you just want to kind of avoid it, that's fine too. But again, if you, it gets in there, not the end of the world, not a huge thing. But it uh, just sounds a little cleaner uh, without that bottom string. We're getting bottom pitch wise. And there, so this is a C. So now, uh, as you feel comfortable, pause the video and take your hand off. Find the chord again. Do that a few times. Get really comfortable with a C chord. And then when you're ready, start the video back up and we'll resume. All right, so now we're going to practice uh, changing between the G and the C and between the C and the D, because you're going to get those changes quite a bit in the songs we're going to do. So let's start on the G. You remember, ring finger here, further string away from you. Middle finger opposite it. Index finger right here. So we got the G chord. We're going to do four counts of that, four counts of C. So ready? Three, four. Take it slow. G, two, three, change to C. So now you're going to put that ring finger right there. Middle, index. C, two, three, back to G, G, two, three, change to C, and C, two, three, back to G, G, two, three, back to C, C, two, three. Now you can keep practicing that on your own, pause the video, work on that transition back and forth if you need to. For now, we're going to go on, we're going to go C into D, alright? So C into D, remember your C is here. Alright, so C and your ring finger, you remember is not the farthest one from you, but one back. And you remember it's like kind of like this little triangle, doop, 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 like that. That sort of triangle that it forms with the fingers, here, here, here. So. D. All right, so start on G. Three, four. C. Start C. Two, three. Change to D. D. Two, three. Back to C. C. Two, three. Change to D. D. Two, three. Back to C. C. So practice those transitions till you can get really comfortable with that. Again, C to, or sorry, G to C and C to D. When you feel really good with those, you're going to be in really good shape to learn a whole bunch of new songs. So that's what we're going to do next is work on some songs using those three chords.